got a ghost hunt tomorrow night at a haunted bed and breakfast. I'm going to bring it with me, but let's do the unboxing right now. This thing's supposed to do a 20 by 20 grid, which I think is pretty impressive with a toggle switch. We're getting ready to see here in just a second. Well, let me tell you something, folks. They do know how to pack things. Okay. All right. There's the packing label there. I ordered a uh, K2 stand also. Nice to have, especially, uh, they always throw in some cool stuff, little keychains and things like that. Pin. Here it is. It's supposed to come with this little rubber boot here. And I don't have a battery in it. But it's supposed to have a tripod mount. I don't know if we take that out or not. That doesn't really look like it. I'm going to do a full review on this again tomorrow when I do the ghost hunt. But that's what it is. And I'll figure out this laser mount here as I uh, may have to take this off. I'll know here in a little while. But there, no, there it is. There's a tripod mount right there. And 20 by 20 grid. Supposed to. And we're going to light it up. We'll see how this hotel is tomorrow. This bed and breakfast is supposed to be an old hospital. So we're definitely going to use this, and I will continue this video when it's lit up and it's in action. Okay, looking at this again here, that's where the laser is. That's the laser, the laser symbol there. And there's your tripod. So we'll light this thing up tomorrow night and check it out. Okay, in this first video right here, this was upstairs in a bedroom where a little girl had passed away uh, outside of the home. This was her room, and she passed away and did not make it back. I'm not sure or clear of what happened, but it's pretty sad. And this is the Holly House bed and breakfast in Bruton, Alabama. And the whole floor up there uh, just seemed to have activity. Um, it's just that, that whole level up there. Uh, it used to be a former hospital. So as you can see, the laser grid is is running. This is the video. You can hear, even hear the sounds from it. That's my Canon Vixia R800, and it did perfect. I, I didn't need any external lights or anything. I let it run for about 45 minutes up there to see if something would break the grid. And from I, I don't think anything happened. I, I want to look at them again, but it's clear enough to see. I use a 37-inch monitor to, to look at these things. This is the first video, and the second one I'm going to show you a smaller room. And this image right here was just a, a, a still picture, no flash. I just took a picture of my can, camcorder with the laser grid, and you can see how bright it is. The video just doesn't show it as, as bright as it actually is, but this is the picture, and it, and it looked really good in that room. So I'm pretty happy with this thing so far, and I know the uh, GS2 is out. Uh, but I think I'm going to just get me another one of these, and uh, we'll see. The picture's pretty, pretty awesome. This second video here where I was using the grid, I just left it to where you can see me closing the door. And the room's a lot smaller, but you can see how the, the grid wraps around the room. This was Dr. Holly's room. He was uh, he was the surgeon there at the hospital, which was a former hospital. This place is absolutely amazing. But uh, all in all, I don't know if I got anything on the shadows. Uh, I, I'm not done watching them all. It's about 40 minutes each of each room that I did. So the bottom line is, I like it. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'm surprised I haven't used this before. I'm a manual a, a camera guy. That's normally what I do. But uh, I'm going to get me another one. I think I'm going to get me two of them and, and set them up on a big wall. But I've got another big place that I'm going to be going to. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the road soon. Take care.